welcome back to another vlog. If you remember yesterday, we actually traveled from Paracas to Huacachina. We spent a couple of days here and now we're getting on the early morning bus to Nazca. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Why? Well, there we're going to take a flight over the Nazca lines, spend the day there. We also have to get COVID tested because we're taking an overnight bus to our next destination after Nazca. So it's going to be gonna... a fun day. Yeah, I think Besides so. Besides the COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the Nazca lines and I'm gonna go up a watchtower where you can see some of the lines from here. It's about five, five or six, six stories, stories tall <laughs> and uh, so this area is all flat and all the ginormous Nazca lines are spread out over this plain. Now to really get a bird's eye view of it you can one go up in the tower here or take a short flight over the field so you can actually see what the lines are about. Now we... that <laughs> is what I'm totally excited about. <laughs> the Nazca lines are located in the coastal plains of Peru about 250 miles south of Lima and can only be appreciated with a bird's eye view as some can measure up to 1200 feet long. They are actually giant geoglyphs depicting different animals, plants and even what seems to be astronauts. Alright, so we made it up the tower and as you can see behind us, this is one of the drawings. It's strange because a highway runs right through it. And it can be very loud. <laughs> the desert in which the lines are located is covered with iron oxide coated pebbles that are rust colored. The geoglyphs were made by removing the top 4 to 6 inches of these pebbles to reveal the lighter color earth beneath. Sounds easy? Try doing that in the shape of a 150 foot hummingbird. You will never be able to make it out at ground level, but we were about to see it from above. Let's do it again! <laughs> now we have to try to get out of this little tiny plane. <laughs> Alright, that was interesting. It sure was. I think it was a little too fast because sometimes I had to kind of focus to find them. <laughs> yeah, you know, the lines, are they're hard to record. However, I think we did a decent job. Um, but I will tell you, there is some turbulence and 
There's a lot of twisting and turning trying yeah, to see the lines. Babe, I was actually feeling sick. At some point, I thought I was gonna throw up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, not to me. Close my eyes a bit and just relax. Yeah, not me. Not me. More so motion sickness. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, yeah. But overall, it was awesome, and I highly recommend it. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. I'm glad we came. Yes. So now we are going to. Make a stop to get a COVID test. Oh yeah, for the overnight bus we're taking tonight to yes. um, Arapiqua. Yes. Arapiqua. Arapiqua. Yes, Arapiqua. And um, we're gonna grab something to eat. We had no breakfast this morning. Starving. This time I'm really starving. Yeah, it's I starving, am. Starving, starving. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, let's get ready to get Sucks. swabbed. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here for our COVID test and one more time, number 16. Ah. <laughs> it's like an excursion getting a COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes, it was. I saw you crying. Uh, my eyes always Look. tear. That says reverse signal. All right, so we got uh, we got swabbed. We got swabbed, and now we're gonna go grab some food. It wasn't that bad for me, but apparently for Gladys, it really hurt. It's still stinging me. I don't know. Yeah, it, it wasn't hurt. that bad. Oh, so, comida time. Yay. Yeah. We're done with lunch and now we're gonna go back to the clinic to get our test results. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Nos vemos más tarde. Okay. Yo voy a estar en un café como a las 8 para embarcarlo. Okay. Okay. Gracias. All right, so once, the once we get our results, we're gonna go on a tour to like a pyramid type of deal. Let's see what happens then. Oh, negativo. Now, we're on our way to visit the Kahuahi Pyramids. Built around 2,000 years ago, the Kahuahi Pyramids are 30 kilometers away from Nazca and were only recently discovered. Unlike other pyramids, they are made of dirt mounds and mud bricks. Thought to be used as a ceremonial site, they cover an area of 24 square kilometers. These pyramids are not only interesting, but they are quite impressive.
On the way back, we stopped at a Nazca burial site where human remains were exposed due to natural erosion and looting. We also came across many cacti farms from which not only are the fruits harvested, but so are the cochineal beetles. If you wear lipstick, this little guy may just be responsible for the color. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mira ahora el color, ¿ves? Wow, yes. that is so yeah, cool. from one parasite. Wow. Yeah, from one parasite. Mm -hmm. And it is wow. young, it is still young because when it's more adult, Guys, we came to a traditional store here in Nazca. It's the only one of its kind where they sell handmade stuff. Pillowcases, t-shirts, actually shirts, jewelry, earrings. I mean, I fell in love. I actually bought two rings and kind of like a little mat so we can hang at home. Yeah, we can actually we, put in a frame. And we never buy anything. For the last two years, we haven't bought not one trinket. And we no. came in, we bought a mat and two rings for Gladys. It was awesome. We did the Nazca flight. And then actually to have the Nazca little symbols on the cloth yeah. was pretty cool. And then he demonstrates how everything is made. It kind of felt more authentic. Yes. Those who continue to do it have to be very passionate about it because it's a lot of work. It entails a lot of time. It it's it's very delicate work. So very detail oriented. Yeah. Wow. It's just I was mind blown with all of the process of it all. Okay, so we hung around town for a little bit, checked it out. We went back to the hotel, got our stuff. Now we're at the bus terminal. And we're gonna be taking like a double-decker bus. It's an overnight bus. It's considered one of the high-end luxury buses, but this was all arranged for us through uh, Peru Hop. So we didn't have much to do at all. Love it. <laughs> Candy's been calling me ladies in the last few days because I haven't done much booking on my own, so. <laughs> She does nothing anymore. <laughs> Let's so, keep it that way. <laughs> so we're just gonna wait around. It's like at 8 30 now. Yes. And bus leaves at 9 40. Go by fast, we'll chat. Yeah, see you on the bus. Hey guys, join us next week when we explore Arequipa, the white city home of the snow-capped volcanoes.